So today we have a Mila Novatronic W1918 and we have water that's leaking in uh, from the fill valve and it just accumulates water because the valve isn't fully closing so we're going to be replacing in this case it's the hot water valve that's causing trouble but while we're in there we'll go ahead and replace the cold water valve and the hot water valve so this is the part number for the cold water valve it's 3801 391 and for the hot water is 3806 441 so we got the water off got the water lines disconnected and if your machine is just not filling it's worthwhile to remove these and then clean the little filter underneath because maybe, maybe the filter is just clogged but in this case water's leaking in so we do need to replace the valve because it's not closing all the way so this model I will disconnect its power and then we're going to pry off we need to talk, take off the top panel we're going to pry off these little caps so we can get to a screw underneath i think it's a torx 15. so those are just covering up the screw and that might be a phillips head okay get that one off zip this out and then there's a couple of screws on the back we got to pull out Out. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up this fill line for the hot side. <clears throat> so a little water may come out. Let me take that off. we're going to do there's a little junk caught in the filter too we'll do the same on the cold side got a torx 15 you know, like a star shape and use on a couple screws for the back here that are on the top panel this one Two. two screws out there, two screws in the back. We should be able to push it back a little bit. So move the back about half an inch and we can lift it, get that out of the way. And then <clears throat> we have a secondary panel here and these are just Phillips head screws to get this off. washers in place okay get the shield off get that out of the way we'll do the hot water first this one it's, it's the smaller one cold water has multiple heads on it so we can see that there is make sure it's unplugged and make sure powers off we have a couple of spade connectors. I'm going to wiggle these up, get these off. This one. We're going to take off this one Phillips head screw for the hose clamp, loosen that up. Okay, and with these, you have to kind of wiggle them off. Pry it, wiggle, pull, and that'll come off. There we go. I'm just gonna put it up like this for now. And now we just have to take off a few screws on the back and this will come off. Here we are on the back. I'm going to remove this one bolt right here. 
here's our new valve. Here's the old one. We just got to get this housing off. We'll pull out this one Torx 15 screw. Comes out. And we should be able to separate this housing. Got to turn this way. That to come out. Okay, a new one's going to go in. Get it in there tight and turn it so that it fits into the slot. Put that little screw in there to hold it. Line that up. That's nice and tight. Okay. I'm going to put this back in. So we got the new one mounted in. We're going to put the spade connectors back on to bring power to the valve. We're going to put the hose back on. It's for hot water. So we'll wiggle that all the way in as far as it'll go. And we'll add this hose clamp, Phillips head, tighten that. The red one is the hot side, matches the red here. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this back on. I wanna make sure we get the threads on nice and straight. You don't wanna cross thread it, so it should spin on easily. If it goes on difficult, then it's cross threaded, so just nice and easy. And then we'll turn it a little bit with the pliers, get it even tighter, so it's a nice watertight seal. Good. And now we'll hook up the hot side. All right, make sure you have your little rubber seal here. Push it all the way down as far as it will go. Okay, now we're going to put that on hot side. go on nice and easily and that means you're not cross threaded but you have the threads correct and just getting it hand tight should be enough to seal it against the rubber okay we'll turn it on so that seal is going to go all the way as far as it will go that seal looks good, and this seal looks good. So now we're going to do the cold side. Okay, so we want to do these one at a time so we don't get them mixed up. So these are not the standard kind of hose clamps, but get your flathead screwdriver in, twist it, and these come loose, and then you can use a pair of pliers to squeeze these to tighten them back. We're just going to do this top one first. I'm going to get my little flathead screwdriver in there to help pry that out. And pull, pry a little bit, pull. Just take your time because a lot of these times these have been sitting for a long time and they're, they're in there pretty good. Pulling back. There we go. That came off. So here's that little hose clamp. We're going to get that further down. And we're going to add this now to the new valve. The orientation of the new valve and the old valve are the same. So I can look now and I know that that just came off that. And I know it goes there. It's going to go on that one. Wiggle that on. 
this hose clamp up where I want it and then I'll tighten that with a pair of pliers. Get in position. I'm just going to squeeze that until it clicks. So you have to squeeze the last, this one and this one, and that locks it on. Okay, we're going to do the same now for this one. So we got the hose clamp loose. Now we're going to take that hose off. And you can move this out of the way however you want to do it so you can see better. I'm going to get this, pry this back. So you can get this old valve removed or if you want before you do the hoses, but Sometimes it's better to keep it connected since it keeps it stable and you have less things you gotta hold on to. So you just gotta kinda break the friction. That hose moving. All right, this is hose number two. Almost out of there. There we go. Hose number two. And I am gonna put that now on to the valve in the same orientation. So I know that it's gonna go here. Okay. Wiggle that on all the way as far as it'll go. It's bottomed out. So now I'll lift this hose clamp into position. Nice and straight. And we'll tighten that one up. <laughs> Clicked on. We have one hose left. one's at the bottom, a little harder to get to. This is the cold one, just making sure we get that all the way off. And make sure we keep that seal in there, get that out of the way. So we're taking that little bolt out, loosened it up, got the little bolt out. The valve out. You, you spin off this thing and grab it with some pliers. Sometimes they get junk built up through the years. And you just you just clean it with a wire brush. So we're down, you know, we're probably halfway down on water flow because of the junk. And then you can just pop it back in. Okay, so we have this valve out. Now we're going to twist this to pop off the hose clamp. That loose. Try to get a better angle. There we go. Okay, that loose loosened up. <clears throat> now we're going to pry off this last hose, and the rest will be pretty easy. Wiggling this off. Usually, if you can get these started with a little prying, then they come off pretty good. You can, you can kind of twist them off. Just the initial friction is a little hard to break. There it comes. <clears throat> okay, that is great. So now we're going to get this bracket off. We're just going to remove that 115 Torx 15 screw. Get that one tight. Let's put this little power connector back on, the new valve, and nice and tight. We're going to add the cold water one back on. <clears throat> Make sure it's lined up straight and should go on easily.
tighter pliers and then we're going to turn this arm before we put the top back to do a leak test make sure there's no leak so we're making sure that there is a seal in there and there's a little filter we can check and clean too Going over there with a little toothbrush would be good and get in all those holes. There we go. And when you put this back, have that little prong thing on the top that's for grabbing with pliers. And then we're going to put this metal piece back up and then put that rubber seal back in, get it nice and flat. We're going to get this back up in there for the cold side. Make sure you have your rubber seal in there. And again, you should be able to probably just do this hand tight. Should be enough. We'll plug it in with our top off and run through the fill cycles. Make sure it's good. No leaks. Turn this on all the way. Full blast. All right, plug it in. So we're going to turn it on. And looking good. We'll go ahead and start it up. You can hear water filling in. Sounds good. Check our valves. Cover back on, get the screws in, put the top back on. We're going to slide these over first. Okay, now we're going to bring it forward. I'm going to add these little Phillips head ones on the side. We'll do the ones on the back. Okay, now we're going to add these clips back. They have little holes they go into. Little feet, legs go into the holes. We'll do the two screws on the back. 